Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to backdate your week as a pitcher so you can prepare pretty much perfectly to be ready for a showcase, to be ready for a game. Backdating is the thing that all pitching coaches use. They'll go basically, what day do you have to pitch or be ready? What day is it today? And then we'll go back from the ending point and we'll fill in all the blanks so we know we got adequate rest, we got adequate work. We basically filled in our week given the the constraints. All right. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do this. All right. So we're going to talk about backdating a game or showcase. So we're going to assume, assume here. So I just made these dates up. So we have 16 days starting on December 1st, ending on December 16th. So we're going to say this is our, the day of our, our showcase. And this is today. All right. So we'll just write today. We won't have a, a throwing workout on that day. So the easiest way to conceptualize all this is just that, I mean, look, we have to fill in the stepping stones to get here, right? So we know for a fact we're going to pitch on this day. So that means my last hard bullpen is probably, depending on who I am, either with two days off or one day off, maybe three days off, depending on how much I want to throw. But we're going to go kind of for the middle ground here. and We're going to go December 13th, last bullpen. And we'll say this is 50 pitches and we'll say it's a hundred percent effort. Okay. So let's start there. So, all right, we, if that's our last bullpen on Saturday, this day is either light or we're going to be off the day before to make sure we're rested. And then this day here. So we threw really hard here. We're going to throw really hard there. We're off here. It's probably going to be, this is going to be kind of discretionary, but you might stretch it out a little bit if you have outdoor space, um, you know, come back in. But in general, it's a light or moderate intensity kind of day. All right. So we've got some of our stepping stones in there. So now if this was our last bullpen, when's the next uh, or the previous bullpen? So this is where we have to start planning out. So let's say we have three days or in between, or maybe we have two days in between. Again, typical bullpen schedule, two to three days in between pens. So let's say December 9th, if we pick December 9th, let's say, do we have three more days of rest there? Let's say if we throw December 9th, we also throw on the sixth, which is two days rest. And then we also throw on the third. That sounds pretty good. So let's go bullpen. And then we'll go bullpen and then we'll go bullpen. Okay. So now we've got today we've got, let's say we have like long toss. So that's like a, a moderate workout on this, uh, the second. So we'll say that's moderate intensity. Then we've got our bullpen and we'll say, cause again, if you're going to have a showcase here, and you're going to throw, let's say you're going to throw 96 miles per hour. Good for you. You have a cannon. Um, we're assuming that you're somewhat in shape, right? So if this was, you haven't thrown a ball in multiple months, we'd probably do this like six, you know, a six week throwing program to slowly build you up. Uh, but for here, let's say, you know, you've, you just finished your competitive season. You took a month or, two, or a week or two off, and now you have to get ready for a showcase again. So your arm's not dead. It's just like, you know, a little bit deconditioned. So Today, long toss. So we'll say we played catch on today. You're just trying to get into it. Now you're going to long toss. So you're still like getting your arm moving again. Now we have our pen. We'll say we have 75% to 100%. So somewhere in there, use your discretion. And we'll go 30 to 50 pitches. All right. Thursday, December 4th. So the next day, we'll go off because you've thrown three days in a row. And then here we'll have, um, you know, a moderate workout again. So again, this is long toss. And for me, I don't mean long toss is like 45 degree arcing it, bringing the rain. I just mean this could be 150 feet. It could be 250 feet, but mostly on a line for me. And then you probably come back in and throw, you know, a flat ground and spin all your pitches and you'd probably do drills on the way out. So it's, it's, again, it's up to you, but really your, your workouts are going to break up to 
uh, high intensity, moderate intensity, and low intensity, something like that. And they're all going to have their purpose. But our purpose here is getting your arm in shape, number one. It's getting you sharp, number two. And it's getting you sharp with all of your stuff, number three. So you have another pen here. This will be a, a 90 to 100% for sure. You know, more of a focus on 100%. We'll say the same thing, 30 to 50 pitches. And then we've got two days in between our next one. So let's stick with the pattern. Let's go off before our next pen. So this day is off or light. Some guys like to throw a little more. Some guys like to throw a little less. Tinker with it. So here, this day here is going to be another moderate day. So again, this could be I start short, I spin all my pitches, I go out to 150 to 250 feet, you know, keeping it on a line, whatever, coming back in, finishing with a flat ground. Okay. So then we have an off day or a light day, then we have our pen. This is our... Um, Definite full bore most, you know, you still warm up to a hundred percent, but this is still like a full bore bullpen and uh, You know 40 to 60 maybe if you're trying to make sure you're really well conditioned for a, a showcase So that could be unpredictable where you might warm up cool down warm up cool down then throw 20 pitches in front of scouts or whatever So now we've got three days Okay, so we'll have like a, a light day Moderate and then light or off day okay so look this is not really super complicated right it's just about being smart so if you don't know when uh, or, or what kind of throwing to do in between your uh, your next your next showcase or the time you have to pitch this is what pitching coaches do they know all right dan's gonna pitch on the 16th for us so we've got two weeks to prep what what do uh, his workouts look like between then and there. They just backdate it. Backdating means taking the date and then moving backwards. So again, bullpen, 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 right? So I've got that many days, two days off, two days off, three days off, two days off, and I pitch. That seems reasonable. Again, if you want to have more days off in between, you can do that. It's completely up to you. But again, this is a simple way of doing it. You're just basically taking and the stepping stones are, you know, potentially long toss if you like to do it. They're bullpens. They are playing catch. And then they are that sort of in between where you stretch it out. You know, whatever that means to you. You know, long toss is kind of more like a, a higher activity intensity wise. Bullpens are a higher intensity. Playing catch is low. This is low to moderate. And then, you know, there's lots of other stuff like drill throwing. So if you're going to work on a bunch of drills, you know, if you do weighted balls, maybe this is where you do your weighted balls. And this could be anywhere from low to high, depending on what you do. But this could be like really heavy focus on mechanics at a higher speed, right? That's not a long toss. It's not a bullpen. It's not playing catch. It's not stretching out. This is its own own sort of a uh, sort of thing. Drill throwing, All right? And then flat grounds. A flat ground is a just a side session thrown on flat ground that we could do after that. We could do it after this. We could do it after. Well, we wouldn't do it after bullpen. Sorry, scratch that out. Uh, we do it after playing catch. We do it after this, and you might even do it here too, right? You can do a flat ground. It's just it's just like practice pitching from flat usually at 55 or 60 feet, just spinning all your pitches and focusing on corners and a couple specific locations. But uh, again, I don't want you to, uh, sorry, I was off camera a little bit there. I don't want you to overthink it, but this is how you backdate and get yourself ready for the next showcase.